Hi, David. So I started pulling this apart, assuming that I was just servicing the movement. I was looking at the, the gaskets. They're ancient, rock hard. Also, I was looking at your case. Case looks generally nice, but it is it is dirty inside. And your crystal is not bad, but it's pretty scratched up. So my recommendation is that we just, we do the whole thing, that it gets a case rebuild and we just go through it and make it right. So that's what I'm going to do. Based on our previous interactions, I think that's probably what you'd want me to do. And so here we go. So uh, just looking at this, I see that we're going to have a fairly unusual repair that we need to do. Sorry for the wiggling. Someday I'll come up with a better system. Anyway, this is the basically the stop-start on-off lever. It's supposed to engage with this pillar wheel and turn the thing on and off. It's got this white stuff on it. I have no idea what that's for, but you'll notice this is not turning, and this is up where it's not supposed to be. Typically, I see this kind of thing when this, this um, post is out of place. Uh, so I'm going to have to look at that to see if the train bridge is in one condition, one or if this lever is bad. Yeah, you see, look at how look at how much slop that is. So I'm going to need to repair the uh, the train bridge. So there's funky business one. Okay, just uh, a couple of other things uh, so far. Somebody. This is the second time already in just the short time I've been in this movement where I see something with the wrong screw. Um, normally when I see things with the wrong screw, it usually means it's um, had some less than careful work. Uh, so I'll replace these, these incorrect screws with correct ones and uh, make sure that we're, we're good. And, uh, but just you should just be aware of that. Okay. Okay, so I have the train bridge off now, and you can see how floppy that is. Absolutely not supposed to be that way. So I'm going to clean this whole thing, then I'll try to reseat that post, and hopefully it'll hold. We certainly hope. Get that seated down. The rest of it seems to look okay for right now. It's dirty, but I mean, that's it. Moving ahead. Here's, a, <clears throat> here's another indicator of that. Uh, whenever I see this, it's usually a sign that somebody was inside who didn't know what they're doing. The uh, C-clip for the day ring is upside down. It's supposed to be flat up top, not curved, because the curve fits into the slot on the day ring. It's supposed to be like that. Okay. Doesn't mean anything, neither here nor there. Just one of those things. So my instincts about the crystal were, and the case were correct. Somebody did some funky work. They glued, they glued the the tacky ring into an incorrect crystal. I'm not sure why they did that, but um, that's obviously a problem. Uh, they will clean it out. I'm gonna pull that bracelet, and then we're gonna we're gonna make this thing shiny. Okay. Uh, so the movement is coming back together. Everything has been cleaned. I'm working on it. This uh, I was able to put that uh, this this post back down where it was supposed to be, uh, and it looks nice and firm. And so there it is. You can see the port just inside part of the auto winding, which is right there. That little dip. That's where it comes through, and you've got to flare it back out to get it to stay in place after you reseat it. And that's what I'm doing. Okay. okay, David, I'm right at the end of the day. You can hear all the noise in the background because everybody's all around, and I have Willow down here watching TV so that she stops fighting with her sister. And uh, that's that's all good stuff. But anyway, the movement is back together. Um, it's definitely has had a lot of work. It's had a lot of work. Uh, hang on just one second. I want to be right on top of this. Um, some good, some bad. Uh, there's like scratches and things all over here and there. Nothing really, nothing really functional, but um, come on. But it's just, you know, and some interesting repairs as well. There she blows. Yeah, like this, 
right here, this normally, this is for the intermediate uh, minute counter wheel right there. Uh, normally that would be a bushing. Someone's actually put a jewel in there, which is, which is nice. Um, the watch has already also had some corrosion in it. There's some pitting on the hammer underneath where this spring is. It's not functional. Uh, it's just, it's just one of those things. You know, you, you sort of get a sense of the history of a watch of a movement when you're, when you're poking around on it. Uh, so I'm going to get this running and then I'm going to pull the, I'm going to pull the rip cord on today. And, uh, we'll revisit this tomorrow and see what the numbers are like. Okay. I'm going to check that out. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, um, we've got amplitude. It's obviously running, but if you look at the balance, look at it wobble all over the place. So we've got us, uh, we got us a bad staff. Um, so that's going to have to be, I'm either going to have to replace the staff or ideally actually probably the entire balance. So we're going to replace the balance on that one and, uh, we'll see how that, uh, see if that, but it looks like we've got decent amplitude. I'm not going to complain about that. So we've got decent amplitude, um, two thirties. It's not bad, but I am going to break out one of my quite hard to find parts and that's a genuine balance and let's make this one run a little hotter okay even more noise going on but i got this done got that balance swapped out for you see super steady nice and flat that's what we want okay now i am absolutely god it's so not everybody everybody's going to absolutely i'm ending for the day i'll revisit this tomorrow okay it is the next morning, and so this is about, oh, I don't know, 14 hours rundown. That's pretty good. New Balance is doing what it ought to. So I think I'm going to push ahead and uh, get, that, uh, get that going, get that assembled, and we'll start testing. Okay, and that is it. So it was, I don't know, more work, less work than I expected. So you've got, um, there are your spare parts in here. These are the, uh, the, the, the day and date wheel, the silver ones that were wrong. Here is this movement. It's unfortunate the chronograph wheel tip is broken off. I can sometimes reuse those, but that, this probably not. But anyway, um, so there it is. It, New crystal, case is entirely clean now, everything is clean, all new seals, uh, it's got a new crystal, a beautiful, nice new crystal, uh, it is, I don't know, it's everything you want in a, in a panda. I retouched up this uh, to give it that tomato red, um, I don't know, there it is in all of its glory, much happier than it was before, absolutely, much, much, much happier. And that's really about it. So it's ready to come back, I'd say. And then uh, we'll be done. And that's the end of that. Okay, thank you so much.